Hey, what's up fam? Papin with you once again, playing a little Rival Kingdoms. I hope everyone had an excellent weekend and a very, very happy Father's Day. I know I spent mine with my lovely family and we had a great time. I hope you guys did as well. So we're at uh, Getting to Know the Ancients. This is the third part in the series. And what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at uh, our Fire Ancients. Okay, now uh, I have to be honest, right? And I have to admit that uh, the only Fire Ancient that I'm really loving right now is Nocti. Okay, and I have not had them for long. Uh, I, I just got them about two days ago, but he seems to be pretty awesome. Awesome, sorry. And uh, obviously, Ember Claw, I just use them basically to attack in battles, okay? I, I rarely, if ever, use them in an attack uh, as an ancient, okay? And Saul Rick, well, uh, being that he's the most common one, because he's the one that I started the game off with. Uh, well, you know, he just basically I use them a lot in the uh, spell towers. Okay, so let's get to know these guys a little bit. Uh, Amber Claw, uh, obviously he has uh, the damage dealt to all the troop. Uh, to all the troops is reduced uh, to ten percent, and they recover forty-seven to fifty-two damage over five seconds. Okay, now remember we're talking about when we use him as an ancient okay these are his abilities okay so he helps the troops uh get reduced damage by 10 percent and they heal by 42 to 47 to 52 sorry then uh the the fire elementals he summons uh two of them uh right now being that he's a level 18 the elementals are at level five okay and his last ability being that he ignites a target dealing 197 to 217 damage over 12 seconds okay that's a pretty long time guys 12 seconds if an effective building already is, exists in that area then all those buildings around it will be ignited okay and what we're talking about enhancing him uh you're going to be able to see here He's at level 19 now, so this is just going to get more and more powerful as it goes. Uh, I can't wait to get him to level 21, where the starting mana will increase from 3 to 4, okay? And right now, I'm only able to go up to level 25, so it would be um, Fire Dragon. The damage per second would be 56, and the target damage 105 to 119, okay? And so he's pretty awesome uh, as an ancient as well as he is using him in battle, okay? Now, I was telling you guys about Saul Rick that I do not use him a lot because he's the one that we start the game off with. And to me, uh, I don't know, it's just not that, he's not that appealing, okay? But to each his own, uh, some of you guys might love him, I just don't, okay? Now, he summons one greater fire elemental, uh, and is at level 3 right now because he's only level 14. Now, obviously, if he was a level 18 uh, or something like that or 20 or whatever, then he, the elementals would be level 5, 6, whatever, okay? And his second ability, he halves the damage uh, from all spell towers and grants immunity to the debuffs for 9.1 seconds. And the last one being rains fire down upon a location dealing four waves of 23 to 25 damage for a total of 91 to 101 okay now th that doesn't sound like a lot but don't forget that we're talking about level 14 right now okay so as you see here already at his next level which is 15 those elementals will go up to level four okay and if we go up just a bit here you'll see that at level 20 they're at the elementals that he summons are at level uh, 5, okay? And it goes up, the rain of fire goes up just a little bit, okay? So for that same reason is the reason why I, I'm not just a fan of him, uh, but I have used him, okay? And the uh, last one that I have 
from the fire ancients that uh, is the last one I receive will be Nocti. Okay, now I'm loving Nocti. His abilities to me are pretty awesome. What do you think, Tatiana? Tatiana, this is my daughter, Tatiana, everybody. We'll see what she thinks about Nocti. He looks pretty awesome, right? Yeah, he looks very awesome, actually. You see? Tatiana loves Rival Kingdoms as well. We play together every now and again when she's not at the PlayStation. And uh, she just happens to love Nocti, okay? Very well. Okay, so one of his abilities is that he charges, uh, he, he has a charge of solar energy that blasts an area causing 213 to 236 damage to all the buildings around it, okay? And then the elementals that he summons, two of them, right now they're only level two because he's at level seven. But just like uh, the just like uh, Solric, uh, those elementals obviously they keep going up and up and up as he levels up. Okay, and his least uh, his last ability, sorry, he summons up a whirling sandstorm. Uh, enemies within it slow down by fifty percent, and they take an additional sixty-seven to seventy-four damage over five seconds. Okay, that doesn't sound like a long time. But remember that those troops on the ground, their H, uh, their HP is really not, their health is really not that that high, okay? And when we're talking about enhancing Nocti, as you can see, right now when he goes up to level 8, the elementals will go up to level 3, and you guys already get the idea, right? Little by little, they're mostly, uh, mostly all the elementals in one specific um area the fire nature death ice um lightning you know they, they they they're all similar in what they can do okay and they all go up little by little as you keep uh improving them as you keep enhancing them as the game goes okay okay so we'll let's just see them in battle real quick and see how these abilities perform okay real quick we'll try to get these battles done uh, hopefully we don't come across some monster bases, right? And I don't look like a darn fool doing this, right? So let's change our ancient. I was using Hagar recently. Let's start off with Solric, being that, he, being that he's the one I like the least. Let's start with him, right? And then we'll finish with, with a big boom with Nocti, who is, uh, just happens to be the one that I love the most. Okay, so here we go. You guys see that right here? We have a little mana, a uh, little mana to be gotten, right? They're giving it to us, so I'm taking it. Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out. Now, I've said this before, and I had to say it again because I've heard it a couple of times already. Okay. These dragons do receive damage from these spell towers. Okay. I've heard a couple of guys say, "Oh, the spell towers don't do damage to the dragons." The spell towers do damage to anything that comes around it. Okay, that's just a fact. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll get whatever we can here without taking a lot of fire. Okay, speed that up just a little bit. Okay, yeah, here we go. I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get them to take too much fire, so we'll move them over here for now. And now we can start dumping off our troops. Okay. Here we go. Well, he is taking fire anyway. Okay. It's not a problem because I'm we're really not gonna need him. So we'll use his first ability here, right? To rain down a little bit of those fire blasts that he rains down, okay? And then for the next one, we'll wait to use the uh, health ability, okay, to help out the troops. And as you can see, I haven't even had to use all my troops yet, okay? So we'll heal these troops real fast because these are the ones that are dying. We'll heal them, and they will summon the elementals, okay? Those are his three abilities. You just saw them in action, okay? That's what they can do. Now, the only reason, like I said, why I'm just, I'm just not in love with him is because, um, you know, the, the, the abilities, they're just not that deadly, okay? It's the only reason why I say it, okay? But abilities are abilities, and they do help, okay? They do help, obviously, right? If they didn't help, we wouldn't have them, okay? Okay, so that's an epic victory with Solric, as you guys just witnessed. 
and we'll move right along to the next one. In the next battle, we will use Amber Claw as an ancient, okay? We'll use them in the battle and we'll use them as an ancient as well, okay? All right, here we go. So let's see how we're going to attack this one. Again, if they're giving it to me, I'm taking it, okay? So let me get a hold of this mana right here real fast. And then what I'll do is, um, after he gets that, then I'll just sweep him over the base one time. I'll sweep him over the base one time. Okay, let's see what we got. We don't have any more. Okay, yeah. We'll sweep him over here real fast. Get him over there. So he can get some of that mana over there. Hey, what's going on? Come on, guy. What are you, lazy or something? There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Boom. Okay, no problem. So we're going to this base right from... Right from this side right here. Okay? These troops are going to go following... Uh, right here they're gonna they're gonna some of them are gonna split up kind of like okay so let's help them out real fast get all them troops help out okay help them out as much as we can okay i need some mana here guys let's go get daddy some mana get daddy some mana let's go let's rain some fire down on these fools right here there we go. And now we need a little bit more help. So we'll drop more troops right there. All righty. There we go. Awesome. Okay, this one is academic now, guys. Uh, it's a wrap. Okay, we've used all the abilities now with the elementals. And you guys can see those abilities in action. They're all pretty cool. Okay. Okay. So here we go, another epic victory, thank you very much, thank you very much, okay, for the next and last attack, now we will use, oh wait a minute, let's get this treasure chest first, and we get some good old gold, okay, 6,000 of it, alrighty, and the last battle, as I said, will be with Nocti, and we'll see how he performs in battle, okay, Oh, I guess hack. Hack. I'm a hack, you hack. Okay, let's hack, hack. All right. And let's do it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can snipe that. This is a level six. I'm not even, I most likely won't even need my all my troops for this. Uh, so let's just start. Let's start right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Ember Claw. Hurry up now. People don't want to be sitting here watching you uh, snipe bases now. People want to see action. Let's go. Let's go, Ember Claw. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. There we go. So we'll use the first ability right here on these. Okay. Have them burning up real fast there. And now we can start dropping these troops right here. There we go. All right, guys. Ember Claw is going to die. All right. I keep messing that up. Every single time I try to swoop the dragon over to the other side of the base, uh, for some crazy reason, I just can't get it. Okay? Sometimes it just, your finger kind of like slips, uh, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty embarrassing, actually. Okay, so here we go. These troops are taking a lot of damage right now, okay? Especially with those catapults. So I'm going to have to drop my last set of troops for that same reason, okay? Because the other ones just took way too much damage, okay? And also, the paladins have went off uh, to the other side uh, to get the other structures outside. And that's the reason why... Um, that's the reason why the troops had such a hard time, okay? Because the paladins were not there to help, to give them health, okay? So anyway, uh, we don't even need any more health. Uh, this is pretty much over, okay? 
And like I said, I had to, I winded up using all the troops just for the simple reason that the paladins did not stay with the rest of the troops. And the paladins are the ones that help a whole lot of healing, okay, when those troops are on the ground. All right? So as you can see here, everything else is pretty much academic. And it's over, baby. Okay? So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, and also, don't forget to leave any comments you might have uh, down below. And uh, I will read them and answer you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, so don't we go on a battle. We go hard or we don't go at all. See ya. Hey, that's all I had to say. That's what? Sucked. What?